My name is Aisha Aisha Sise. I'm a Circle of Force Fellow. Since I've started being in Anklet, I've been faced with um, discrimination, social stigma, and stereotype. And I've also talked with other women who have also faced the same stereotype and discrimination that I am facing because of we are in Anklet. We know that you're wearing anklet, not just on one leg, but both legs. So we want to know what does wearing anklet mean to you? I just like it. That's it. It's something as a child, when I, when I used to see women that were older and they used to look so beautiful when they wore anklets. So for me as a child, I've always said, when I grow up, I'm going to make sure I have anklets. I always liked the way it looked. Um, the women that I admire around me always wore anklets. And um, yeah, I always knew that I'd wear it because I liked the way it looked. Um, I liked how it dressed up the body. So as an EJB, what does wearing an anklet mean to you? Um, to me, it's just fashion. It's just something I wear because it's nice. I mean, I see it on other people and I really admire them and they look so nice in it. So I just decided to wear it. But before that, I had um, really wanted to wear it, but I was not bold enough to wear it because a lot of people we're saying, oh, in Islam, it's haram, it's something you shouldn't wear. And also people in my community, when they see other people wear it, they have negative comments like, this, this person is a bad girl or she's, you know, not necessarily prostitute, but like she's um, a very stubborn girl. So what I did was to research on anklets in Islam and to my surprise, I found out that it's not even haram, it's something acceptable for women to wear. Yeah, you can wear it. Where Islam came from, it was something that um, showed that a woman is not married. Uh, they had different types. Married women could wear certain types and women who are not married could also wear certain types. So once I knew that, I'm like, it's okay for me to wear Then I. I, I had one a friend sent to me, I just started putting it on. We have those negative um, comments from people. So, have you gotten any of those reactions from people? I've had people look at my ankle, look at me up and down and look at my ankle for a bit longer. Um, I don't know what th that means. Um, I don't really care about what it means. Um, it's on me, I bought it, I like it, I think it looks nice and I'll continue wearing it. Um, I don't know how someone wearing something can mean that there's some kind of way. Just like someone dressing quite conservative doesn't mean that that person is smart, intelligent or decent. You know, you have to know someone to be able to make a stereotype or an observation of them. People can get their own different, different way, how they interpret way, possibly wear foot speed. Some man they wear them for fashion. Some man they put on their foot, they get new reason and new purpose. I they put on because some man they put on the left, some man they put on the right. It depends to you where they put on, what in your reason, where make you they put on. But if you ask me, my reason, I will tell you, say, if you possibly put foot speed nine foot, now for fashion, now I make you they put on nine foot. What was the reaction that you got from? people i think with most things women do people like to control our lives i think the idea that wearing an anklet kind of kind of make you a bad person or somebody that is not serious it's all part of how the ways in which society tries to control women so like i said for me it's just I have beautiful feet. I want you to see my beautiful feet. I want you to pay attention to my feet. I wear anklets. Other people perceive anklets to be, oh, this is somebody that's in the streets. This is why she's wearing anklets. It's all, I, I am aware that it doesn't mean anything. So when I step into spaces and I know everybody looks down at my feet and I even make it worse that I have colors on my head all the time and then they look at me and be like, oh. I want to know how we are you able to overcome those Negative okay, so first of all, to my surprise, I was when I started wearing it, I expected my family to say something. 
to my surprise, everybody was just quiet about it. I don't know if it's because of the age or it's because they know it's accepted in Islam. I think that too is part of it. But everybody was just okay. It was just a normal day. I would say I'm relatively a religious person. Mm -hmm. Once it's something acceptable in my religion, I wouldn't really care about what other people have to say about it. So, so far so good. I haven't received any negative comments. You normally use it when going to the mosque to yeah. pray and especially this Ramadan season, like come on here, yeah, fasting and people, you know, people like to talk. They just give you stares. So usually when I'm going out, I have like a big hijab I wear to pray. It's in my bag. Mm -hmm. And so usually when we are done praying and I'm taking that off and they now see I'm in jeans, I'm in anklets, they just give you that stare, but they don't really, you know, say anything. Okay. Yeah, and I sometimes I don't really blame them because a lot of Sierra Leoneans especially are very ignorant about the rulings and teachings of Islam. They don't know a lot of what is halal and what is haram, what is acceptable and not acceptable. So I don't really blame them sometimes, but they just stare at you and that's it. Nobody say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I went for a meeting once. I think we went for a meeting at Ministry of Health or something. And then I put the picture on my WhatsApp and a friend responded and said, how do you go to a meeting with your hair like that and all of those things on your feet, hanging on your feet like that? I was like, but I went there with my brain. They needed me there because of what I, how I think. They didn't need me there because of how I appear. So for me, I don't pay attention to that because I also I also empathize that they do not understand what it means to think freely and to be a free person. So man, they take a leg, say we woman foot foot mid nine foot leg. They take and say like the person a osula like if they go osula or something like if they look for man. If if you ask me, so certain be then they because they be then they they need different design and different way. Some be then the way fix I get what he represents. By you. So the so way you fix her, you go tell it says on tell this na girlfriend, now you want na lesbian or this way you fix this bead ya na man it they look for or some man way you fix this bead, this the particular one way you fix na just for fashion. I want to know what advice will you have for young girls and young women that may want to put on this anklet but then they are afraid of what society might say is about them, what people might say, um the way people might look at them what advice do you have for them? Um, what I would say is if you are old enough I think you are at a certain age where you are on your own you are independent I think it's time women really do things they want to do now for themselves and not because of how other people would you know think about it or react about it so I think just do you I think you have to be careful giving advice to young people because you don't want to give advice to someone who lives in a home and they've said don't wear an anchor or she'll get kicked out you don't want to get kicked out you don't want to be homeless so um, I would say just stay focused so that you get yourself to a point in life where you can be independent and no one can tell you you can and cannot do anything like just focus on yourself do what you need to do get yourself to a point where you can do whatever you want to do and no one can tell you anything about wearing wearing something or not wearing something i think for me it's always just about knowing who you are just know who you are what you like and what that means to you so it's not about wearing anklets like i think anklets is like the most pettiest thing it's just a fashion statement it's just like for example making your hair or wearing rings or wearing a bracelet or wearing wristwatch there's some people that don't like wearing wristwatches right yeah. so i think it's just know who you are regardless of what people's perceptions are whether you wear anklets you don't wear anklets they will still find something negative to talk about so it, sh it should not stop you from being or doing what you want um it means style it means beauty it means um expression it means joy yeah to me personally i think wearing an anklet signifies that you are beautiful you are bold you are brave and it shows you owning and taking control over your body and making your own decisions for yourself.